In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the client portal, also known as the client project. We're going to go through a discussion on uh, what does it look like. We're going to talk about how to set it up and a simple three easy steps. We're going to go through the inviting process. We'll talk about notifications to your client. And lastly, we'll touch on seeing client responses and replying back to them in Build Exact. Now, to begin, we want to talk about a, a bit about what is the customer portal or the client project, as it's also known as. And essentially, it's a portal or a place where you can connect with your client and share information, communication, and documentation in one easy place. Essentially, it's a client communication tool. And the whole point of it is to get all the information and documentation in one place for you and your client as you work through with them uh, across the various stages from, uh, from lead to final invoice and really just simplifying the whole thing. Now for today, we're going to start by actually looking at the client po customer portal, and then we're going to go back into Build Exact and talk about how to actually deploy it and, and start to operate within Build Exact. But we want to start by showing you what the uh, customer portal looks like to begin to give you a sense of how you might use it within your Build Exact and really the power of the system. So to begin, we've already invited our client in and they're simply going to uh, log in through myhome.buildexact.com. I've already entered in my login details. And when the client first logs in, they're going to be taken to this page. Now, what they're going to see is a bunch of different tiles, uh, depending on how many projects you've invited them into. So for repeat work, they'll probably have additional tiles here. But for today, we only have the one project. So we're going to quickly click into that. And the first section they're going to be brought into is the messages area. And from here, this is really giving you the ability that anytime you share new information, documentation, or communication in, it'll essentially open a new thread in which you'll be able to begin to have that conversation with them back and forth. So this is a message that we would have shared in from Build Exact, and you'll see what that looks like here in a few moments. But once we start to share some information in, uh, the client can then respond back to that, can attach additional images, and again, really, really helps to start to facilitate a lot of that back and forth that goes across uh, the various types of projects you might work with them on. Um, they can also initiate new messages as well too. And so here as an example, you can see that they have essentially initiated that conversation and the client can then respond back to that. On the left hand side here, we have a couple additional sections. And what these sections are going to be is where essentially we're going to try to store the different types of documentation that you're going to share across. So here is an example. We have a quote, which uh, using the digital acceptance and build exact, which is covered in another video, your client can essentially digitally accept the quote. So a super handy feature there. You can also share plans in, you can share documentation, and a quick note about sharing documentation. And again, we'll go through all of how to do this in Build Exact in a moment. But when you share documentation across, the folder name comes across as well. And I mentioned that partly to just touch on the fact that that information comes across, but also it's a good point to, to acknowledge the fact that the information in the client portal is essentially stays open forever. So this is, again, really allowing you to, to share across all that uh, important uh, information across all the various life stages uh, of the project. And then again, uh, especially handover documentation and all that. So the client will have access to that essentially indefinitely. Further on, we have also the ability to push across change orders. We'll have the invoices that can be shared in. And lastly, we also have a contact section, which would be your business details. We'd also have the ability to upload a portfolio of photos. And then from there, uh, they can reach back out to you later on the, down the road if they need to uh, potentially look at maybe some new work or something like that. So again, really helps to streamline a lot of that communication uh, and just make it a much more positive uh, experience for both your uh, client and also for yourself as well. Now from there, we're gonna to touch on how to actually set this portal up and how to push information across. And basically to begin here, we've already created a lead for say our uh, fictional client, Greg Jones. And one of the first steps is to actually go ahead and publish in the project. Now, a lot of people think that once you publish the project, the client is invited in the same step, when in fact, that's actually a separate step. So again, to begin, we encourage you to publish the project. And when you do that, you're going to see there's going to be a message that will appear. This will allow you to edit this message, which your client will see when they first log into the portal. But for today, I'm going to leave it as is. Click publish. And when I push anything into the customer portal, you're going to see this message will pop up. 
And basically what this message is saying is once you share information into the customer portal, you can't remove it. You can't delete it, uh, override it, edit it, recall it, or anything along those lines. Um, this is very analogous to how email works. If you imagine when you send an email, you can't, again, recall that email, delete that email, edit that email. And so this is very similar in the sense that once you push that across, it's essentially shared. Now, obviously, if there is a mistake, you can easily share another message or update a documentation, but it is a quick note there just to touch on that fact. Let's go ahead and click Publish, though. And just like that, our client project is published. Now, from here, this is really where we reach step two, and that is uh, around encouraging you to actually share information and documentation into the client uh, customer portal rather prior to inviting them. Now, this is up to you. Uh, some people will invite the, uh, the client in right away, but we typically recommend to share something just so it helps to begin to provide a little bit of context and, and start to fill out the, uh, the customer portal prior to your client logging in. So to actually upload and start to share some information into the system, what we're going to do is I'm going to upload some info into this documents widget, which I'm going to do by simply clicking and dragging a photo from my bottom screen to my top screen. When I do that, BuildExact will pick up the name of the file. And from here, we're now just going to give the folder a new name. We're going to call it Kitchen. Again, this is what I mentioned earlier that the client will see this when you push this document across. So just something to keep in mind as you begin to create these folders. But for today, let's go ahead and click upload. And what that's done is it's now uploaded it into BuildExact, but that doesn't mean it's pushed across into the client project. That is a separate step, which I'm going to initiate by clicking it again and simply clicking share. And before I click that share button, again, I really want to highlight the fact that just because you upload information into this documents area, which is, by the way, not just in the lead, but all across BuildExact, that doesn't automatically push it across to the client project. So we want to give you that space there to be able to choose which information you get pushed across. So information you upload into the documents, which it doesn't always have to be for the purpose of sharing it into the customer portal, the client pro portal. Uh, it can just be for sharing it on your own, but Quite often, you'll want to then share that information across as well. So we're going to do so by clicking share. This is again going to share this document into that project. Again, we see these different areas, which allows you to again curate where that information should go. And in this case, I'm going to put in the document section. And next up, we can then compose and edit this message to then greet the client when they log into the uh, to the customer portal, and then again can see and start to interact with that information. But for today, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to click share. Build exact is again just going to confirm to say, are you sure? Because again, once we share it, we can't delete it or anything like that, like I mentioned. And let's go ahead and click share. And that is now going to give us a little publish tag there uh, to let us know that information has been shared across. Now, at some stage, whether it be pretty quick or you might even uh, create an estimate and then start to share um, the quote letter across. Uh, but at some stage, you're going to want to invite your client in. So to invite them, we're going to click the invite button here. And this is again, again going to give us a familiar page where we can now compose a message. But instead of this being shared into the customer portal, this is actually going to send uh, Greg, in this case, our, our, our lead or client, uh, an email to essentially invite them in. So once we're ready, we'll click send invitation. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and get a little invited tab there just to let us know that that invite has now been sent off. Now, a really quick common question before I touch on that email is people will ask us and they'll say, well, what about if I want to invite additional people into, uh, into this lead or client's portal? And that's absolutely possible. All you need to do is go to uh, Greg Jones's contact details and add additional in individuals here. So this could be other family members, it could be architect, interior designers, um, it could be really any number of people, but let's just say that maybe there's, uh, you know, Mrs. Jones. And once we've done that, we can go back into the lead and we'll see here that we now have the ability to then send uh, those other additional individuals uh, the invite as we so choose. So again, just a quick point there I want to highlight. Definitely very handy, again, in terms of uh, collaboration and just streamlining a lot of that uh, documentation and communication. 
Now, once that invite is sent out, it's going to look essentially something along the lines of this. So it's going to greet them and basically give them that ability to click the get started now, where that'll then take them to the myhome.builtexact.com where they'll be prompted to enter in a password, create a password. And then from there, they'll be logging into the, uh, to the customer portal, exactly as we talked about at the start of the video today. Next up, we wanna talk a little bit about the communications side of it. So a really common question we get from uh, from our Built Exact users is asking well, how often and how will my client then receive notifications once I share information in. And so back into the customer portal here, what the client can do is actually choose how often they receive those notifications. So they have the ability to receive them once an hour, twice daily, or once a day. So if once you start to share stuff across, Build Exact will then check these update notification uh, select requirements, and then it will then send them an email to let your client know that, again, there is some information in the portal, and it'll prompt them to log in and then access that information accordingly. And the last thing we're going to talk a little bit about today is the ongoing uh, client responses and replying back and forth to them. And so in Build Exact, there's basically two different ways that once your client responds back to you, you'll be able to see that information. So again, here we're back into Greg Jones as an example. We can click on this communications tab. And this will then basically give you uh, all the different list of threads in which are open in the customer portal. So then you can see them, you can see the status, you can jump back into that if you know the, uh, the client has responded back to you and then again, send them a message back or whatever else in terms of that back and forth you may need to go through with them. And you can also achieve the same thing in the communications section under the conversations. So you'll be able to see all that information accordingly in here.